Hey everybody, I was just going to actually show you an unboxing real quick. I uh, got an item in the mail that I haven't opened yet a couple of days ago and I just thought it would be really cool to show uh, you guys if you haven't seen it yet. So I'll go right down to here and this is what it is. This is the complete season, uh, complete six seasons, the complete series of Lost. And I've kind of already torn it down here on this side. So I just want to show you kind of what it's like. Um, and this box here is very heavy. I'd say... Oh man, probably over five pounds. It's kind of hard to say, but it's really, really heavy. And a lot of cardboard on the outside, as you can tell, like this stuff too, on top of that. Um, let me pass this over for just a second and use a second hand. Alrighty, I'm just going to um, peel this off carefully, because I know it's going to try to come off anyway. And there's the cover, what it looks like with the airplane in the background, which was kind of hard to make out before I removed that. When you uh, take this section off here, it has uh, contents, which um, I'll just show that briefly because we're getting ready to look at all that. And it's just a wrap around that has mostly the, uh, the UPC information for when they sell it. But when you actually get it, out of all the packaging, it's just kind of like a black slate with the, uh, the, what they call the Ankh, or the Ankh, they're on the back, um, logo on the side with ABC, and maybe here, yeah, here we go, wow, this thing's got quite a bit of heft on the inside for a pretty thin box, um, as you can see this here, by the thickness of that, this isn't very thick, although I'll probably keep that, definitely, alrighty, this is got a little bit of protection. Oh, that's really cool. Um, there's this inner box part right here. It's probably meant to just be kind of tossed to the side, but I'll go ahead and keep that. Um, I'll try to work this whole piece out of there first. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. Okay. So... This is what the piece would look like once it was displayed. And, uh, of course, top section comes off here with a map of the island. And, uh, I think it was like in this area here. It's how it's shaped. It's a little bit crooked on there. I think this is actually a piece that I don't know if it's supposed to come off or not. But either way, yeah, there we go. Interesting. I'm not for sure exactly what all that does, but I'll take that off for now. And this is the complete series book. Pretty cool. Heavy stock. Some great pictures. All the different seasons. Uh, and of course, this has got a board here. And it does show on the back here that there's a... Uh, um, there's a game that can be played, and this is actually like what the board would be for the game. This will actually end up being the seasons, as you can see here, uh, one through six, and each of those I'm assuming will be really similar when you pull them out here. Now, unfortunately, it does come in that uh, the cardboard sleeve. I'm not a big fan of these. Uh, in fact, I think the cardboard sleeves are pretty rough on most series, but at least the uh, disc appear to be in the right place without sliding out, like some of these sets come with the, the disc already removed. But we don't necessarily have to show every one of these. These are all going to be fairly similar. But, um, yeah, that's the, uh, the one through six. And... I haven't really read exactly what the deal is with this. I was just kind of saving it for now, so I'll try not to forget anything and skip over anything. This here, when you get to the bottom, just has an insert piece, just pretty much for looks. Each of these sides, though, as you can see maybe down in here, these are the pieces to the game. And I don't know if that's picking it up well enough, and I don't necessarily have to remove all these pieces here, but um, that's those in the bag. I may leave those in a bag since I don't know if I'll play the game just to kind of keep it. Here's some stones, and it does uh, appear that these are just randomly shaped real rocks, real stones. I used to play that game similar to on the show. 
This here on the other side is the dark rocks, and these are the same way. These are randomly shaped real stones. So just kind of every collection is unique. That there closed up. Then on this side here, there's an opening. Uh, and this is a, uh, says here the, uh, this is like a replica keychain kind of thing of the uh, black light torch. So that's that. And I'm assuming, yeah, it, it is. It's like an LED light. And I think this one can be opened without being torn open, kind of like some of the other ones. It's got a resellable package. So I'll take that out and test it real quick. It does appear like it has a plastic piece to keep the, uh, the light. You can see that it kind of has a blue glow similar to uh, the way most of the LEDs now. It has a safety feature to keep that from accidentally getting being hit and the battery running down. So there's that with the instructions inside there. On this side, this is the uh, recovered Black Rock journal entry. Um, which you could probably make this out. It's, it's, uh, the writing is, is uh, kind of faded in a few spots and marked out and everything, but it, it's pretty easy to read. There's a front and a back on that. might be kind of difficult to make it out on camera, but when you actually see it up close, it's pretty neat. It's kind of a small piece of paper, though. And then on this side here, um, this is the onk replica that has the secret message and that one is sealed out I don't know if I can get that open I guess I'll just go ahead and open it and heck with it those rocks wouldn't be too interesting but this one might be and um, yeah there it is so as you can see the onk with the uh, secret message and then when you pull that piece out there this slip back in there course, you know, it's just the uh, the symbols there that make up all the message, but that's the secret message, and that was pretty tightly rolled in there, so I'll roll that back, and then, I'll leave that to the side for now, um, let's see, and there may be, um, it appears that that's pretty much the basics of what it is. Um, the uh, the thing that I would say is probably the, the main feature on this is going to be the game and the collectibles. Um, I don't believe that there's any other additional um, like bonus disc or anything. Not that I could see in here. I mean, obviously there, there could be uh, something in here that I'm missing. But just going off what they got here on the back... Um, it looks like there's a lot of deleted scenes and everything, but that might not be exclusive to this. That might be the same thing that comes in the Lost Season 6 set. But I just wanted to give you guys kind of a heads up of what this looked like and kind of how cool it is. And then I'll put it back together here real quick and you can get a last shot of kind of what it looks like with everything back in there. That's pretty much it. That's the overview of the uh, Lost Complete series. Hey guys, um, I was just going to say uh, one more thing. I was kind of afraid of this when I was looking at the uh, the uh, the inside part of the box and how it kind of acted like it was going to move. Uh, the series Alias was kind of known for that. They didn't tell you that there was a secret... Um, disc in there or there was no secret pieces and you had to know that by the Rumbaldi box that you would have to do this and you have to do that and then the piece would come out. And I was kind of afraid of that so I'm going to go back and I'm going to add this to the video because I did do some uh, investigating after I ended the last video. So I'm just going to jump right back in again. And as you can see this is the uh, the lid. Just the simple lid that I was showing you before that I thought was kind of weird but I didn't want to force anything on it. So I'll show this here. And uh, what you'll notice is on this, the symbols, there's the, the top of the, the onk, or the ank, and there's the bottom. And I noticed that it did want to make a turn, but when it does turn, you can make the outline underneath there. And I thought at first, you know, I didn't want to necessarily break anything, but when you see this, it'll continue to turn. 
and it feels like maybe it's being held by a magnet or something but it's not so try not to pull it away but what you'll see is the onk right here at the top and the bottom starts to line up with another onk that was on the underboard and when you get that point it's loose it actually comes off this inner piece here as you can see it's still cardboard so it can it can tear quite easily uh, that fits into the locking mechanism that twists this whole underside once that uh, gets to this point there is another piece in here and I'm trying desperately to figure out how to get it out uh, but I'm assuming yeah, it's uh, kind of like what a typical like CD envelope but it's got a weird cut corner here and then there's the symbol once again the Egyptian symbol and then when you get to this point you've got a regular envelope with that corner and then voila this is going to be the actual um, bonus disc and this this is the DVD collection not the blu-ray collection so this is the bonus DVD I'm assuming that the other one's going to be blu-ray uh, but yeah and it's got a similar symbol that's on this envelope here and um, I thought you guys might think that was kind of cool and I definitely wanted to show that once I figured it out but it's got the uh, information there but this fits right in there and I think it really fits like so and then this lines up this way with the symbols right here and then once it's on there yeah pretty cool stuff and then that's the lid to lost so and uh thanks you guys for watching and then hopefully coming up pretty soon we'll do the 200 subs video thanks take care bye